Good morning, folks. These signatures are not terribly large, but whether pronounced or not, these L waves were ripped across the planet by a strong earthquake that struck Guatemala yesterday evening. The strength was mitigated by its depth of 200 kilometers underground. Residents barely felt it at the surface. But that makes three significant quakes in two days and a bona fide uptick to start this latest quake watch. The umbral field has set the coronal opening in an earth-facing position, but it is thinner than expected, and the SDO reveals a weak field over top the otherwise prominent dark opening. Another uptick we're following outside the 6 magnitude rubric is the Canary Islands quake swarm. Had two four-pointers yesterday amid hundreds of smaller tremors. Average there is one per day. This uptick has officially endured a week. Full moon around the time of tomorrow's news release. That, the seismic uptick, and the corona hole need to scooch over and make room for some planets to get in the mix that same time. Turning off the atmosphere on Stellarium reveals the conjunctions occurring near the Sun. The Southwest Pacific. This high pressure system is going to drive Antarctic breeze over Southwest Australia and then sweep east. Meanwhile, a similar high over New Zealand creates a conflict of air masses in the middle, leading to heavy precipitation. Severe cold warning in parts of the UK, especially because many residents remain without power as the Arctic freeze lingers still. That same low pressure creating the storms has moved well east, developed a few trailing lows. The rain and snow will be less severe but now covering a larger area. Getting used to the new maps yet? Let's start with the big counterclockwise low exiting New England. Major snow was dumped across the US. Counterclockwise aspect should be apparent when viewing the GOES satellite images. As that storm wanes, our next low has crept across the west coast. We spied the spinning low pressure cell racing across the Pacific, now moving up into the Rockies. Cosmic ray density is elevated from yesterday, but steady and still below 101. Flaring has been completely absent, which is both good and a bad thing. The solar wind was steady yesterday, but with one hitch at 1900 UTC. One of the signs that our shield is weak is its ability to get dinged off minor changes in the solar wind. No energetic flux or plasma penetration, though. Lastly, this is the velocity endless spiral. Earth is that green dot to the right of the central sun. You'll notice yellow engulfing the earth. That is a speedy coronal hole stream of charged particles, plasma, and generally intensified solar wind. It is the secondary aspect of coronal holes and we expect the solar wind impact from these earth facing holes tomorrow. The quake watch has hit. Let's hope that's all we get. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.